you know, uh, of, my, of my father, the memories I have of him that I cherish the most are that um, he used to love to go fishing. He had a lot of energy, he was a very active person. That's really hard for me because I was so little. There were just these little moments where I realized that I had a mother. mother died, I felt very alone, I felt very lonely. I just remember feeling lost all the time, like I was under a bubble of water. Uh... Being in a situation um, where we would have normally been together was a difficult. a memory of either wanting to run or actually running down the street or something, and then after that it's all just kind of a blank. I checked um, with therapists, and I, every person I would call, I would interview on the phone, and I would say, well, have you lost someone in your life? And they would say, no, and I hung up. I only wanted to talk to someone that knew Pain, I felt so there was no one so we didn't go to anybody what did I know about grief it was to be avoided at all costs and when it, you felt it you were supposed to stuff it down because nobody wanted to hear about it grief <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know anything about grief until a few years ago nothing Grief was not a word that I knew, understood. I knew nothing about grief. I don't think anybody knows what grief is like until they go through it themselves. It is a place that every community needs. And I think here in Bellingham, we are very fortunate that we have come together um, to create this special place, a safe place for a part of our community that's grieving. I really think children are tremendously resilient if given the chance. Being in a, in a place where people can share their loss and their grief with others can be very helpful. You know, when people um, are able to let loose of some of that sadness and some of that pain and, and you can feel the lightness or, and see the smile on their face, um, it is, it is just a joy. Sometimes it's just a look that they give you and you can tell that they're recognizing and identifying with something that you're saying or something that another kid is saying. It is an opportunity to slow down and think about what's important and be uh, present with somebody who truly needs somebody there to share with and witness what they're going through. Uh, I've, I've been inspired by him my entire life. Uh, <laughs> um. Auden, my oldest, uh, was very, very close to him and um, had a really, really hard time. He was the one that rose up to be the man of the house. And she and I were, you know, mother and daughter, even though it was short.
fact is, it's not rocket science what we're doing. Well, I, I just wish that the adults in my life had given me the chance to grieve. We don't have a degree in this where normal people like you. But we've got hands. Hands that can reach out. Hands that can touch. Hands that can hold and be a friend. I wish I hadn't gone 20 years without talking about my dad. And with these hands. Just having a chance to cry and be there with people to support me. With these hands, we can lift these children back up. We could save the lives of those that are still here. So put your hands out and join us.